Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I oh boy, and this is coming out with a divine. Seriously, this is God here. Um, yeah, so somebody, yep, and there's the heartbreak. I'm telling you, um, the spirit has seen everything. This is like a judgment card. Watching everything. Why, and I feel like um, it doesn't have to be judgment. I feel like your person can clearly see. This is everything coming out into the open. Um, everything being exposed. This person clearly can see who you are, Divine Feminine. All right, yeah, and I just saw that little offer on the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. Now they're awakened to you, okay? They're, they're awakened to the fact that you truly are a divine being, all right? They're being shown, right, by the, by, by the divine uh, God himself, spirit guides, ancestors, um, they're getting messages, downloads. They, they're they watching you, too, um, whatever it is that you're doing. And you're, you're out here just doing you, Divine Feminine. And it's like you're proving yourself or something. Okay? Spirit, I feel, has put you somehow in the spotlight. Um, you could have... Uh, like you can be on social media, you can have your own platform. I feel like um, divine beings are showing, we're showing ourselves. Okay, we are showing the world what we can do, why we are here, and we're not, um, we're not being real shy about it either. Okay, so I feel like you're really putting yourself out there. Um, at spirit's request, they wanted this to happen. This is how you, you get vindicated. And this is how um, people can see how spirit works within you and your life, okay? You're a walking testament for the divine. Do you know how important that is? Do you? And you may not even realize that about yourselves because, see, Divine beings, if you're a light worker, a big light worker thing is always feeling different, um, feeling like you don't belong, feeling like you're not accepted your whole entire life, and trying to suppress those abilities or hide them somehow, okay? Um, second guessing yourself, trying to get people's approval because you never quite feel like you fit in. Um, now things have changed. Okay, there's been a shift here, a major shift, and, P and the light workers are now being put in the front line of this battle. Okay, um, so people can see this happening, including this masculine. Now, here's the thing about this picture, though. This masculine, their eyes are open to you, but they're blind to what's going on behind their back. And I feel like there's a karmic that they're with that's having an affair behind this masculine's back. And I feel like it's it could even be in their own home. Like, they're getting lots of... They should be able to tell this by now, okay? They should. Come on. The readers out here, all of us have been picking up on this for a long time. So, yeah, um, I feel like they're about to realize that they're being cheated on, okay? All right, so, but they're so focused on you and what you're doing. They're just like, oh, look at look at the way they're, oh, Divine Feminine. Look at that look on his face here. Divine Feminine, that's who I want. Yeah, and this is you, Divine Feminine, out here with those skills, those abilities, um, doing something that you're feeling really passionate for, you know? Um, it's a calling for you. You know, it's something that you love to do. And I feel like um, no matter what it is that you're doing, you're raising people's vibrations. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. It's time for us to um, take our places, right? Um, 
get into place and 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 do the light worker thing and create this big change and that's what you're out here doing and your person is mesmerized by what you're doing okay and you make it look beautiful you make it look easy look at how happy you are doing whatever it is that you're doing you could be a fitness instructor you could have your own like uh, put out your own workout videos like I know you it's something that has put you in the spotlight somehow It could be a big promotion you got at work like maybe all of a sudden you're like um, some executive you know or or, or a major manager or something, I don't know, So something corporate. It could have something to do with a creative project that you're working on. Whatever it is you're doing, you're raising vibrations, you're inspiring other people worldwide. Worldwide somehow, in the public eye, somehow, I feel. Or the vibrations are just starting to spread around the world, okay? Um, yeah, and it's because of the 144,000 and, and all the ways we inspire other people. You're here to teach other people. You're here to open their eyes to, um, their spirituality, right? Bring them, bring them closer to the divine. That's what you're doing out here, no matter what it is. So, yeah, um, people are able to see it, including this masculine. And, um, man, they're just, they're literally, they can't take their eyes off of you. Um, maybe some people out there could have in the past thought, like, they said you were crazy, or they tried to get other people to believe that you were crazy. But that quite simply isn't true. It's like everything is being exposed. This person and other people, perhaps, um, were under some kind of illusion that you were just either a weirdo or crazy or you didn't have abilities or something. I don't know. They, you've always been different. Um, you've always been unique. Um, but here's the thing. I feel like it's being exposed now. You're being vindicated. You're being vindicated for, for everybody to see. And so this masculine is still... They're heartbroken. They're having this epiphany. Oh my gosh, this is a divine being. This is actually a divine being I'm looking at here, right? Um, and there's still around three other feminine energies here. But look at how unhappy they are, man. They're just not happy where they are. I, yeah. I feel like these three feminines just get together and pick you apart. Maybe they're, I don't know, they're trying to find things um, to just criticize you for and bring you down for and trash talk you. And I feel like they get together as a group and do this. They could be even doing some kind of spell work. You know, but your person, they're being enlightened by you at the same time. Look at them. What have I gotten myself into? Look at this person. While they're being spiritually led on an elephant, straight back to you. Okay. <laughs> this is their ancestors here. This is their spirit guides. Bringing this person right back to you here. They're like, what have I done? They've got, you've got such a tremendous pull in this connection. Um, they, this masculine can't stop thinking about you. They don't want to really have anything to do with anybody else that they're around. And here, you know what? Oh boy, you're about to get uh, possibly a new soulmate connection here. You're out here... Um, very successful, catching a lot of attention from possibly higher ups or um, a lot of masculine energy, okay? There could be three other people around you who may want to date you, competing maybe for your attention because you're absolutely beautiful, enjoying your life out here. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like there's a karmic too who's watching you very closely and just wants you out of the picture. Okay? They, want, they may even want to fight, may even want to get physical, because they know that this masculine wants to come towards you. It's not a secret. Guys, it's not a secret out here. At least not in Tarot Land. We've been calling that one for a long time. Okay? Yeah, you're out here happy, smiling. Yeah, I'm hearing um, from the movie Sabrina. Um, what does she say? Um, something about her smile was big, her teeth were white, yeah, um, yeah, and you're out here happy, and man, people just want to keep bringing you down, don't they, fighting with you, it's this karmic, here's the thing, I feel like, you know, you're out here with other suitors, you're out here living a wish-fulfilled life collective, you're happy, beautiful, meeting new people out here dating, and the karmic is still mad? They're still mad at you? They're still mad at you, and you don't have anything to do with them. If you're out here dating other people, perhaps, um, you've left this masculine completely alone. I mean, not completely alone. They're with a karmic, but I mean, you, you haven't had anything to do with this connection. So, you know what, um, the masculine wants to fight off whoever else wants to be with you or around you, okay? The karmic wants to fight with you um, because uh, who knows, who knows? You're, you're, you're not chasing after this masculine, you're letting her have him, you know? I guess because the masculine is still in love with you. All the all the bad energy and spell work that this karmic has done, too, by the way, is coming right back on them. They're getting headaches. They're going crazy. They're getting angrier and angrier. That's why. Um, if they were upset with you before, this is only making it harder for them. Um, for real. All their, ener all their bad juju and bad energy is coming right back on them, kind of all at once. And I feel like it, it's just enraging this person. Maybe it's making them confused. If they sent you confusion spells, they're getting confused. If they try to make you feel um, like have low confidence and second-guessing yourself, um, that's what's happening to them. Okay, I mean, they're literally delirious with their own spell work here. And I feel like you're leaving. You're leaving the scene. And you've got this. It's not having any effect on you. If anything, it's just, look at you. Look, at it's making you even more successful. Okay? Um, so, yes, I, I feel like the, this masculine... They're really upset. Um, the karmic is really upset. And these two are about to go off on each other, man. They're, it's about to go down between the two of them. Like fighting, nonstop fighting, bickering with each other. Okay, these two do not get along. Um, these, both of these people could be air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your person could possibly be a Taurus or an Aries. But yeah, um, the karmic is starting to possibly drink. This, all of these crumpled up pieces of paper, that's the spell work they've been sending you. Yeah, none of it's worked. Well, I take that back. It's worked on them. It's coming right back on them. Any little thing that they sent you is coming back on them. Um, they're feeling very embarrassed because they know that this uh, situation is coming to an end. And quite frankly, they're not happy where they are anyway. I don't even feel like they want this situation. You're letting them have this masculine and they don't even want them. They're both miserable. 
This masculine spends a lot of time in his car watching you. Now, whether that's driving past your house or your job, watching you, um, or it could even be just sitting there in their car and watching the phone, right? So if you have social media, I'm seeing somebody literally sitting in the front seat of their car, scrolling through their phone and looking at your social media. They don't even want to be around this karmic anymore because it's constant fighting about you and how you're winning because they're both watching you. They're both watching you. Okay? Yeah, and you have nothing but wins. Each one of these things on your, on your shirt here, that's a medal. That's a win. It's a lesson you learned, a test that you passed, a goal that you reached, an accomplishment that you made. It's, it's awe-inspiring. Okay, and that's what your job is here as a light worker, an earth angel, a divine being. So you're doing what you, what, what you are supposed to be doing out here. I feel like you are completely aligned here with what um, your timeline and what the divine wants for you. Okay, you, you're in your place as a light worker on the front line of this spiritual battle being shown to the world all that you can do and accomplish, okay, as a walking testament to the divine. I'll say it again. Um, yeah, I just heard somebody say amen, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And they're both watching you. Both of them are miserable. Both of them, I feel, feel shame. Um, and they could even have a, there could be a baby involved here. And this, uh, the spell work that this karmic has sent off to you is coming back on her and possibly her children. And I've picked up on that one other time before. And other readers are starting to pick up on it too. Um, yeah. It's a, it could be affecting the children as well. You know, here's the thing, too. When it comes to energy, you guys, everybody's going to pick up on that energy. You know, when, when energy comes, you know, um, comes towards us, right, or around us, things can get, like, crazy. Things can get interrupted. Um, it can get um, nutty. It can get really fast-paced. Um, and then all of a sudden the energy just kind of like goes through, right? It's like a current, okay? Consider it like a current, okay? And it'll pass. But, you know, if the energy that this karmic sent out is coming back into a household, the children are going to pick up on it. The pets are going to pick up on it. Um, electrical things could happen, like... Um, Weird things happening with electrical devices, I guess is what I want to say. Um, just a lot of, like, it could get crazy. There could be a lot of disruptions, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, interruptions, you know what I mean? Um, and then the energy will pass through. That's kind of what this is. And it's affecting their whole household, including the children and possibly the pets. Okay, so that's the kind of stuff that they're experiencing wherever they are in this karmic household. Um, and it's all because of the bad energy that this karmic had been sending to you. And I feel like it was a lot, right? Where was that card? Here it is. It's a lot that they did. Okay. So it's getting bad wherever they are. Constant fighting, crying children. There could be illnesses. Um, there could be, I mean, it's, it could be anything. But it's crazy. It gets crazy over there. Um, and they're both miserable. They both want out.
Yeah, I feel like the karmic did all they could to hang on to this masculine, and now they're upset because you're letting her have him. How does that make sense? Yeah, and now she feels like a clown. I feel like they both feel this way. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I feel like they both feel pretty dumb right now. Okay? Pretty foolish. And here you are, um, <laughs> working wonders out here for real. You're working wonders. You are a working wonder is what, what you are. Because you're a light worker. You're doing work for the divine and for collect the collective energy around the world. People helping other people heal, right? And inspiring them. Yeah, you're a working wonder. And look at all of this white, too. You're led by the divine. And you're out here having a major win. And you just keep winning. You could be starting, like, another project. I've been picking up on that, too. Say you have, um, say you have like a, a bread shop, right? And you make these beautiful loaves of bread for people and everybody's digging it, okay? Um, so you may take like, you may start making like cinnamon rolls instead, you know, and start selling those. It's, a, it's like a, a, a second creative project that you're starting to build, okay? I mean, the more that this karmic wants to see you brought down, the, the, the more you win. And um, this masculine, too, they're heartbroken. They're having this epiphany, sudden realization um, that you're their divine feminine and you're about, to, you're about to start dating other people if you aren't already. All right, so... What else can you show me here? Yeah, look, look at this. Both feminine and masculine energy here. Emperor and Empress. This is you, collective. Very powerful. Confident. It's your confidence. It's your, it's your faith. You know who you are. You know what your purpose is. And you know you're on the right track. You trust your intuition. You trust the messages that you get from the divine because they've led you through your healing to this point. And you're standing here as a warrior because you're a warrior in this battle. That's who you are. It's who you are. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if the 144,000, um, if we all had... Um, another thing in common, and that's being some kind of warrior in, in our past lives. That's who we are, right? All right, so yeah, um, not, none of the, and look at how angry, look, this karmic is angry and this masculine, I'm telling you, they want you back. They see you as their soulmate connection, their two of cups, okay? Um, yeah, no matter what this karmic did, they still couldn't capture the heart of this masculine because it belongs to you. Their heart belongs to you. Okay? So the, the karmic is just angry and miserable, and I don't even think they're interested in this masculine anymore. It's crazy. Yeah, this is coming to an end. It is they know it's it's pretty much over, okay. The, and the the masculine, I feel like um, they don't stop watching you on their phone. So you've got to have social media, something. So sorry, collective. My my um my batteries just can't keep up with me. <laughs> you know. All right. So what else do you have for me for the collective? One more card. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of hate still being sent your way, but it's just kind of plinking off of you and hitting right back to the karmic and their whole entire household now. 
So here's the thing, the longer this masculine stays with this karma too, the more karma they're going to get. I do feel though, however, with them being on their elephant, that they do have spiritual protection. But they need to be able to be obedient, and when spirit is trying to lead them out of there, they need to, they need to cooperate. Otherwise, they're going to suffer the effects of, of the karma, okay, of this bad energy coming back. All right, so what else can you show me? And the karmic, they're losing their mind, they're losing control, and um, they're losing that relationship. All right, yeah, and they're kind of going crazy, too, doing a lot of drinking as well. Yeah, they're starting to go crazy because they're doing all they can to keep your person there, wherever they are. Okay, they, they just keep blocking your person from leaving. I feel a, a big codependency here off of this karmic, okay? And they're just absolutely furious, furious, furious going crazy okay there's a lot of screaming a lot of babies like children could be crying right um could be illnesses they're getting headaches they're they're drinking they're exhausted i mean this karmic is getting ready to snap but you're out here winning and you're doing exactly what the divine wants you to be doing right now. So, all right, so let's get your advice, okay? What advice can you give me for my collective? Divine Feminine, I feel like this is, um, this is for you, right? What advice can you give me? I've got new life here, new, new. Look at that. New life within. I'm telling you, uh, this could also be a new creative project, like I just said, right? All right, so what do you have for the Divine Feminine? Mending. Deep knowing. I feel like this is the job that you do. I have to say. I feel like this is the job that you do, and I feel like you're to keep just keep doing your job, right? The, your job for the divine, the light worker, the raising vibrations, the mending, where, where is it? Mending other people here from heartache and betrayal, teaching them how to um, reach down inside and heal from their own wounds too. Right, so they can move forward from being stuck in stagnancy, the same kind of situations that you've been put through, right? And you and that's how you have this deep knowing. You have the experience. You've lived it. That's how you can resonate with so many people. Okay? Um, it's because it, it, they're going through pretty much the same kind of ordeal and situation that you've been through. So your job is to inspire, right? So people are no longer stuck. Your job out here is to help other people and heal, right? Help them heal, teach them, right? And guide them through their healing process, right? It's all because of how tapped in you are how connected you are to the divine, the messages you receive, your intuition. It's a big responsibility, though. Think of the weight, right, that you have on your shoulders. It's a big responsibility, Divine Feminine. But, man, this is what you were born to do here in this lifetime, in many lifetimes, okay? You've lived many lifetimes. So, yeah, um, this is just you doing your job out here. I feel like that's your advice. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know, keep um, allowing yourself to be called and led, right? 
<coughs> this is going to calmer waters, I feel. It's also doing your like your spiritual baths, your cleansings, right? Meditation, everything spiritual here. But they're they're leading you, I feel. The, you're not doing anything with this boat. The divine is bringing you on their own current, watching over you here. See the, the divine face here? Um, to a new community, maybe. So some of you could be making a house move, a location change. That, you know, you're, you're here to inspire. And that means, you know, you've got to sometimes be mobile to reach those that the divine wants you to reach. So they're, they could be leading you to a new location. I feel like your advice is to just allow yourself to be led and trust your intuition. You know? Trust your intuition. But yeah, this is you just out here doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I feel like that's your advice. <laughs>